so we want to generalize the example of R2 and let us consider a 5 fold dance cap so what does this mean so you have 5 edges of the polygon you identify all these edges with each other yeah and you identify all the vertices with V so we have this vertices V and we have connecting edges E between them all of them are identified with each other yeah, in the following way so I notice that I am drawing them in, in an anti-clock manner so let us write our cells C0 is just generated by V so it is just C C1 is generated by a single edge E these all these edges are identified together so that they are all which are marked in blue or a single edge E and this is a filled up two cell inside which generates C2 so let us write this down we have 0 C2 then C1 then C0 and then 0 so last map is always multiplied by 0 so delta 1 now you can see delta 1 of the edge is nothing but V minus V which will give you 0 so delta 1 is 0 map and the surface is uh, you take these edges uh, draw the entire clock movement and you sum the edges E plus E plus E plus E plus E 5 times so we get 5 E let me write down this on the polygon itself so you get 5e so delta 2 is nothing but multiplication by 5 so kernel of this map will be 0 image of this map will be 5c so kernel of delta 2 is 0 image is 5c so h0 is what c0 by image of delta 1 we have already seen delta 1 is 0 c0 is 0 so h0 is z over 0 which will give you z what about h1 kernel of delta 1 since this is multiplication by 0 map everything gets mapped to 0 so entire c1 gets mapped to 0 and c, c1 is nothing but this integers over image of delta 2 which is multiplication by 5 so 5c what you get is z by 5c finally we have h2 which will be 0 because this is nothing but kernel of delta 2 map image of delta 3 is 0 because there are no cells of 3 or higher dimension uh, that should be image of delta 3 map image of delta 2 in the bottom yeah and similarly hi greater equal to 3 is 0 